I don't want my children to grow up thinking that their mom was perfect. I don't want them to grow up thinking that I never made a mistake. I want my kids to grow up knowing that I tried my hardest and that um, all of my strength and all of my continuing to try to pursue them and, and be a better parent and be a better woman every day, that that all came from Christ. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm super excited ooh, because I'm doing a collab. I have not done a collab, I feel like, in just too long. And so today I am doing a collab and it is with a friend of mine who actually was one of my subscribers and um, we started following each other on Instagram and I've gotten to know her. Her name is Heather and she is a mom of three sweet beautiful little girls. Heather is such a beautiful soul and I really enjoy following her Instagram account and just kind of seeing her journey and hearing her thoughts. She has a YouTube channel that she's just started and um, um, she just shares encouraging encouraging motherhood, which if you guys are familiar with my channel, then that's what I'm all about. So without further ado, we are going to be sharing with you guys two different things. We're going to share one thing that we have overcome in motherhood, and I even hate, I hate even saying that I've overcome. Something that I feel like I've gotten better at, that Heather's gotten better at, that we have kind of moved past or moved forward from in motherhood, and something that is still um, kind of given us a little bit of a hiccup. All right, so the thing I want to share with you guys today that I feel like I have overcome is this ideal that I need to be the perfect mom um, for my kids to have the perfect life or to have a good life. I think that I believed that I had to get it all right all the time and I had to rise above any imperfections that I had in order to be a good mom, in order to give my kids the childhood and the life that I believed that they deserved. And I feel like I've released myself from that. Um, I am not perfect. None of us are perfect. And to have that kind of expectation on myself that I'm never gonna make mistakes, that I'm always gonna say the right thing, that I'm never gonna lose my temper, I'm gonna just have this well that never runs dry, <laughs> regardless, and I can just continue to pour out with nothing getting put back in. I don't have that expectation on myself anymore. I don't, I don't believe that lie, I guess. And in that, I feel, comes a lot of grace. I realize that I'm only human. I know that I can't do it all and I'm not gonna get it all right. There are gonna be times when I'm not, I don't make the best choice as a mom. There are gonna be times when I don't say the right thing, when I'm selfish. You know, these are all things that are part of being a human and not being God and being imperfect. And not that I wanna sit in that place and I wanna celebrate my, my failures or my flaws, um, but that I don't want to focus on them. I don't want my children to grow up thinking that their mom was perfect. I don't want them to grow up thinking that I never made a mistake. I want my kids to grow up knowing that I tried my hardest and that um, all of my strength and all of my continuing to try to pursue them and, and be a better parent and be a better woman every day, that that all came from Christ. And that when I did mess up, I said sorry and that my love for them and my love for their dad and for God outweighed and overshadowed any wrong choices that I make as a parent and as a mom. So coming off of that, the thing that I feel like I struggle the most with, um, something that I have not overcome but I'm aware of and I am prayerfully working through overcoming, is not caring so much what other people think of me or not needing the affirmation of um, those around me with my choices as a mom. I'm a homeschooling mom, and so that in itself brings a ton of opinions, right? And everybody shares their opinions. <laughs> Everyone shares their, their own fears for your kids when you homeschool, their own thoughts about what, sh what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, if you are homeschooling, what curriculum are you using, but like all of those things, just as a homeschooling mom, you deal with. But then as a mom in general, motherhood is just like a huge can of worms that anybody can share their thoughts on, you know? And the reality is, I can't control their thoughts. I can't. And I can't control whether or not they think I'm doing the right thing. And I can find myself getting so wrapped up 
that it stresses me out, that I'll be worried about how my kids act around certain people or I will um, second guess how I'm doing things and I get so insecure about even parenting or disciplining my kids. So for me, that is something that I feel like God has really revealed to me that is just I don't, I don't want to be, I want to be the mom that I want to be. I want to be confident in that. I want to tell people yes. I want to tell people no. And I want to be confident in the choices that I make for my children. I realize that I'm not going to probably ever be 150% confident I'm doing everything that I want to do. But I don't want to be overshadowed with an insecurity. And so that is something that I feel like right now I'm really working through. I'm finding the root of where this insecurity comes from. And I'm just trying to continue to be prayerful about about the choices that I make and sit in the confidence that I believe that um, the convictions that I have and the choices that I'm making with my kids are the right choices and they're the choices that I feel like God has put on my heart to make as their mom. All right guys, so that is something that I have overcome as well as something that I feel like I am working through right now as a mom. Please comment down below and share with me your thoughts. What's something that you've overcome or you feel like you're getting better at? and something that you feel like you need some prayer and you need some serious intention behind. As a mom, I'd love to connect with you in the comments down below. Please, please go visit Heather's channel. Um, check her out, send her some love. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys for the next one.